Hello, it's Don. So we're out here planting. We're playing Farmer Don today. We're planting a, uh, a food plot for the deer, for the wild game, whatever wants to come out here and eat the birds, rabbits. But uh, we're using this Casco. This is a Casco no-till disc planter. It's not so much a disc. It's they call this a plotter's choice. It's not a disc. It's a no-till planter. And the way this thing works, it's pretty slick. Here's my seed hopper. You can see all my seed in here. I got to mix summertime, blend it. Different things in there. There's buckwheat. There's sunflowers. There's peas. There's some corn. There's some different things. I think there's some sorghum in there. Uh, but this thing's pretty cool. The way it works, you adjust it. And you can see the front cutters. And I got it set where it's just cutting about three quarters of an inch into the ground. And it cuts right through this stuff. It cuts, you just go right through the standing. This is the fall crop. It cuts right through, puts the seed in the ground. Comes out of these little tubes and it dispenses it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right alongside the disc there, right behind the scallop. So then it, it drops it right into the little trough. And then along comes the coulter packer. And this just rolls its way along. You can see where it just rolled this pass. And it knocks everything back down and packs the seed a little bit. And uh, actually it works real good. All these are on a little bit of spring tension, so it follows the ground because the ground's not always perfect. But uh, I'll uh, crank this thing up and I'll take you on a pass, uh, pass or two in case you're into this sort of thing. It's really nice because you can see the, uh, you can see where I've gone. And this way I keep all my, all my duff on the ground, on my mulch. And in the summer when it gets really hot, it's going to protect this ground. It's going to keep it from getting too hot. It's going to keep it from drying out. And uh, I've got a little bit of weeds growing here. Now, normally I would have I would have sprayed this first. And about three weeks later, came back and planted it. But I got a little late planting this year. Uh, so I'm getting to see the ground. Um, it'll be fine. And then uh, in the fall, we'll see what happens when I plant my fall blend. Uh, if it's got a lot of weeds, I'll spray it in advance. Um, but this works real good. Let's uh, let's crank up, go for a pass. All right, here we go. Just like that. You can't go real fast. They say to keep it under five miles an hour. Uh, it doesn't take that long, you know, on the size. I'll go across. And I'll go back and forth, I'll, uh, I'll cross cut it. Because you got enough seed to do that. You can set your seed amount per acre. Which is good, and I usually go a little bit lighter. That way I can come back and cross, cross plant. You can see I'm going right through, I don't know how well it shows it. But right through all this old standing crop. I'm just going right through it. And then after you do, just raise it all down. Your seed's planted underneath it. And it stays protected. I now, you know, I don't have to worry about flocks of birds coming in here and eating all my seed out of the ground because they can't see it. They have to work pretty hard to find it. And this is one spot I've already gone over. And, uh, I'll just back over it. Cross cut where I just went. This is some sawtooth oak trees I planted a few years back. They're looking real nice. A couple, of them, a couple more on down the way. The sawtooth's taking sure real fast, they say. Seven years, that's supposed to make oaks, acorns. Probably five years old now. Should be having some acorns pretty soon. And here we go again. So nothing exciting about this, but if you're into this sort of thing, it's pretty cool. This is my third year of, uh, of planting a no-till like this. And I'd say it's working. It's working good after a couple, two, three years. You know, you, you plan the rotation of crops. Different, different crops give different minerals for the ground. And uh, you don't have to buy no more fertilizer. You don't have to buy no more lime. Because all that stuff's expensive. Uh, you just keep planting through, planting through, planting through. And you, I guess you're doing a good thing for the nature at the same time. You know, you're not destroying the soil. We're building soil. So, uh, here we go, we're building soil. But you can see down there. That's, 
that's good ground cover down there. So when I go when I go through the dry spells, it's not such a big deal. Ground's covered and it won't just be destroyed from the heat. Normally, if you run your disc out here and turn everything over, I mean, yeah, that's how you kill all the weeds and all it works. But what you're doing is you're drying everything out. Actually, just drying it out. So then when you go through those dry spells, your plants don't make it. Everything just shrivels up, suffers, and goes through. It's not really exciting. It's not real fast. But you know, you take time, get done. I put my headphones on. This is the radio I'm doing this. And uh, before you know it, it's done. I already done two fields earlier today. This is my last one. It rained all day yesterday. It's supposed to rain again tonight and tomorrow. So that's why I want to get this stuff done. Always try to do it ahead of a rainstorm. If you're, if you're seeing the best chance of getting germinated and taking off. Once it gets going, then everything's good. You got to go on after that. So, anyways, that's that's one time around. There's my uh, my little tree farm. If you, I planted three more of those little sawtooths this past winter. We'll see how they do. So, here we go. I just got a little bit to finish up here, and then I'll be done. So, uh, that's it. That's it. No uh, no boat today. No fishing today. Today we're working. So uh, that's that's the end of the day. Have a great day.